Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrass, and welcome back to Let's Play Franklin's Great Adventures for the Game Boy Advance. In the last episode, we played some mini games. We played hide and seek with the other kids of Woodland, and Bear got lost in the mountains in a cave, and we had to go in the cave and go through a maze in order to find him. And now the arrows are leading to Franklin's dad, so you might as well go ahead and talk to him. Franklin, it's your birthday today. Your friends have a surprise for you. Go see Bear. He's waiting for you outside the school. And the school is due west. If you know where Mr. Owl is, you'll know where Bear is. Quick, Franklin. Our friends are waiting for us to go canoeing. Let's walk through the woods to catch up with them. And that opens up level 8 to the west, which is where we're going to go now. A canoe race is taking place near Woodland. Go through the forest with Bear to get to the race. We also have another 120 fruits to pick up, and if we get those, we can get another mini game. So, let us go across this log with both characters, carefully. And it looks like we're going to have to go here with Bear as well. So that way, we can climb that tree up there. Yes, you can walk past the bee. You can walk under it without getting stung. I'm surprised the top of his head doesn't count as some place where an enemy shouldn't touch you either. But, well, that's video games for you. And now we have to climb up here. And we can't get those fruits yet. We can get these, though. And by standing on this switch and pressing B, we get this moving platform that moves back and forth across the brambles. We are going to have to jump carefully to get these fruits. And now that we have both characters, we can now get the checkpoint. Now we have two green switches. The left one brings this leaf down. We're going to keep Bear on this one. And we're going to have Bear step off once we get Franklin off the leaf. Or once we get Franklin on the leaf. I'm surprised that didn't hurt me either. Now we're back to where we were before we hit the checkpoint, but we can now go back because we know we can drop down there. Now, this second button on the right brings this down. And we have a log that we can push. I'm going to go ahead and get these pieces of fruit. And I'm going to get Franklin to the left. We need to push this log on the switches when, when necessary. To ensure that we have ways to get the places. Now we can make our way up the tree in this fashion. But when you jump up to this one, assuming I can jump off the very edge and land on the leaf... You'll notice that there are some fruit up here. If you move the log off the right button while Franklin is on this leaf, you can get these. Now for the interesting part. This... button up here will bring that leaf down that is near Franklin now we can push this log over to here and bear can get on it if you're wondering why I got both characters on one side of the log it's because if you have bear on one side and you have Franklin on the other Bear can't push the log. 
you have to get Franklin out of his way because for some reason when you're pushing the log, the game treats the other character like he's a solid object. So I had to get Franklin out of the way. And by getting off that button, I'm able to get our good friend Bear up here. And by getting both characters on this leaf platform, we can now continue with the rest of our journey. You kind of have to think about this one. So anyway, we now have this area. And as much as I would like to hit that button, I do want to get more fruit. There is strangely a ladder here. So you're supposed to get bear here somehow. But how do you do it? Well, we need to find out what this blue button does first. Alrighty then, it moves that platform. Which means we gotta get over there with Bear. Fair enough. Now we saw two red buttons on the way as the camera moved, like right there. Something tells me we'll have to mess with those as well. And I'm going to drink some tea real quick as I wait for the camera to move around. Now, obviously, we need to do a thing with Bear here. So let's get him under the bee. And from here, that's great and everything. Hmm. Well, we need to think about this. There are buttons here, but we can't do anything with any of the, with either of them until we have both characters. And I want to see what is to the right of this area which means I'm gonna have to go back and hit the switch gonna have to hit the blue button again so oh it was already there okay fair enough yeah the if the blue button is pressed it's here if it isn't it's not So let us see what we can do here. Nothing. Which means we will have to play around with the buttons to get further in some way. But how do we do that? Well, it looks like we're going to have to get Bear on the Switch. And Franklin is going to be the one who has to go over here. He will have to go to the bottom area. All right. Let us go and bring the leaf platform to Franklin. Franklin jumps on. We switch the bear. Bear presses the button again. Franklin's up here now. But how does he... Well, actually... Maybe there's another way for him to get to the, bu to the buttons. So let's place Bear here for now. And let's let Franklin go over here because he's small enough to crawl down here. Makes sense. Let us get the fruit, avoid the spiders, hit the button. There's that leaf platform from earlier. We can get over here now. Let's just make sure we don't run in the, into the spiders. 
beautiful. All right. We can now go over here. We don't have to worry about the B. I don't know why I'm worried about the B here. And we can finally bring this over here. Let's get both of you on this. And we get whisked away to here to another checkpoint. Wonderful. All right. Got some more fruit to get. We have another place to climb with bear, but, hmm, I don't want to press that yet. I want to see what's around. Well, there's some more fruit, but that's about it. Fruit that I could have just as easily missed. Oh. Oh. Somebody needs to be on a switch. And I'm guessing that other switch is where Bear needs to be. So let's keep Franklin there. And, okay, apparently you gotta be in a good spot to get down that ladder. What do you do? Okay, you bring me over to here. Okay. Well, let's keep that up there for now because more than likely, that's going to be Franklin's way down. Or maybe I shouldn't keep it there and I should keep it down. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. Experimentation during puzzles in a children's Game Boy Adva Advance game. That, that's something. Um, no. Not yet. Okay. Brilliant. We're on, we're, we're over here now. Now if we stand here, we can finally bring that down. And what do you know? We have a way to get over here with Franklin now. And that was odd. Okay. Um, we're going to have to wait for each spider one by one to make their way all the way down before we can platform. And I need you all the way up. Oh, dear. You have to do platforming with two characters now. You do it with one, and then you do the same thing with the other. Oof. And unless... We can do everything the way we're supposed to... The first time... We're going to have the start all the way. Okay. I can jump there. That's good. And I need to wait for you to go all the way up. Okay, brilliant. Get in. Get on. Get down. Get funky. I don't know why I added get funky. I just did. And get to the checkpoint. Well, at least that last part made sense. Now, we need to go here for easily missed fruit. We need to mine the gap. And we need to find the log. There's a log there. Um, not yet. Or yes yet, because there's a bridge there and I need to... Oof. Okay. What do I gotta do? There's all this. We need to get 
Franklin somewhere, somehow. Oh, uh, well, obviously we're going to have to get to the bridge first. And you know what? I think I have my way of doing it. Please let me get... Oh, wait. I can just climb up. I'm about to say, um, why am I relying on the ball? No, that's not how this works. We need to push the log over to everything else. And can I? Can I reach it that way? Close enough. We need to play with this. We need to get one thing here and one thing here. Okay. Now, if either of us, either the log or bear, move off a green button at this point, we will not have a bridge. Now, why would I want to go here as Franklin? Probably no reason at all. There's probably no reason for me to be there. As Franklin, at the very least. So, let's see what happens. Yeah, we do that. But it's no big loss. Because I believe we can use the log as a means of getting up here if Franklin will want to cooperate with me okay we just need Franklin on this this will open up the bridge wonderful now we can jump over to this log with bear and we can both get on the bridge and of course because that happens Hmm. Something's wrong. There should be eight more. I need to look around. Something's not right here. I missed something. I missed a place. I missed a thing. Well, you know what? What we're going to do is we're both going to go down this bridge together. We're going to be looking around for things in our second trek through here. And in the meantime, we're going to do the canoeing race. The canoe race. Go down the river on the canoe and make sure you avoid the obstacles. Plus the, press the L and R buttons to paddle and move left and right. To go straight ahead, switch between the L and R buttons quickly. Okay, so L moves you right, R moves you left. Nope. Oh. Gotta get used to controls if you wanna get through this. Definitely don't wanna run into. The walls or anything or any or into the rocks or the docks or anything like that and you just got to be ready to press stuff quickly if you want to make it out of here I don't know how I made it through here especially when You know, L is right and right and R is left. If it were L is left and R is right, I would be getting through this a little more quickly. You kind of have to think with these controls. But at least we made it with plenty of time to spare. Good job. You made it. This minigame is now available in minigames mode. Hey Franklin, it was fun going canoeing. I'll see you at the birthday party. I can't wait for it to start. 
Okay, so... We are still missing some fruit. And we need to find out where they are. At least I know what to do here. So that isn't an issue. But I need to look around. Okay. Waiting on you. I want to do this. And then play that one mini game. And then... See what else there is to do. Because I don't know how much further I have left in this game, honestly. So... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play through this level again. And I'm going to look for the eight fruits that I missed out on. And when I find them, you'll see me where we needed to be. So, next time you'll see me, you'll see the fruit as well. See you then. Remember when I said that there was no reason for me to be here as Franklin? There was. Dang it, game. I should have known that that should have been a clue. I really, really should have. This is just like that one time I missed that one life bottle in Medieval 2. And then I had to go get it and then complete the whole level all over again. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Oh yeah, it was the one with all the little people who viewed Sir Dan like a deity. That's right. That and there were those big evil green guys who tried to take over the guys who worshipped you like a deity. Anyway, enough about other games. Let's talk about Franklin. Now that we no longer need this bridge, we can now use this log to get somewhere. Hit the button. And from here, we can now get both people to the checkpoint. I can't believe the game did that on me. Did not really expect the game to do that. Like, you have a little bit of a hint when the game does this. But there, not so much. Anyway, we need to head to Fox. Want to trade 280 apples for the Knight's mini game? That will leave us with exactly zero fruits. I wonder if we are near the end. This mini game is now available in mini games mode. Want to play Knights? Yes, yes we do. Hit all the targets that appear in front of you. Oh, by the way, the game is called Franklin the Knight. Choose a target with a control pad and hit it with the A button. So what are we doing here? So we have the hold up, down, left, or right. Or press up, down, left, or right. And then press A to slash the bags. This looks like an actual medieval training exercise. I like this. And they're coming at a pretty impressive speed here. Like, this is one that can be a bit fun to play if you're a little kid, but this is still my speed. That was actually kind of fun. Even if I didn't have to think about it all that much. 
I mean, there's four directions. There's four places where the bags are going to be. When you see the bag, you slash it. You just move the sword cursor over to the bag and you cut it. I like this one. Good job. You made it. Wow, you hit all the targets. You're really good. And now we get to talk to our mom. Your birthday party is about to begin. All the guests you have helped will be there. I hope you've been nice to everyone. Go to the village square whenever you're ready. And we've filled up all of the heart gauges. As far as I know, we just walk up to the balloons and we can just go to our birthday party. Do you want to go to your birthday party? Yes. And we get this screen. Summer vacation is almost over, but Franklin is happy anyway. His party was a success. Happy birthday, Franklin. And we get this screen. I can't move Franklin in any way. And if you press A, you just go back to the main menu. And we have all of the... We still have one. Why do I still have one? What am I missing? And we can go to the birthday party whenever we want. Is there anyone that I have yet to talk to? There's you, there's there's Badger. There's Rabbit. We've raced the bikes. We've caught the butterflies. We did the coloring book. We don't need to play any of the levels anymore because we've we've um, completed all of the levels and we've gotten all of the fruit you tell us about the birthday party what does I know we did things with Fox we played nights where is Franklin's dad is he just not there anymore? There's you. There's you. We can't seem to go anywhere in those directions. I still feel like we're missing something. I mean, there's the birthday party in the square. And now I'm just looping around now. And I know that if I go further to the north, I may be able to find a barn, but I've done what I was able to in the barn. Something is missing here. Something is very easy to miss here, and I'm not quite sure what it is. There's... Oh! I didn't talk to Goose! Huh. Would you like to trade those 10 seashells to play the Sandcastle minigame? Yes. This minigame is now available in minigames mode. Do you want to play in the sandcastle? Yes, I do. The sandcastle. Careful, the crabs want to take the shells decorating the castle. Stop the crabs by blocking them with Franklin's rake. Move the rake right and left with the control pad. And we need to protect all 20 of these seashells. And they're coming. We have about, what, 80 seconds to do this with? And some of them are slow, some of them are fast. You want to block them all. They just run into the rake, they bounce off, 
and then you got to be ready for the next one. You don't have to put the rake dead center to protect the seashells. Ah. As long... Oh, no. Oh, no. As long as you can put at least a little bit of the rake in front of them, you can block the crab successfully. And, yeah, you really have to learn to prioritize which one of these guys you want to get. And this can be rather quick. Apparently they want their homes back or something. <laughs> no wonder them of them are rather persistent in getting their shells back or something. But as long as you have at least one shell, you'll be able to complete this. Good job! You made it! Thanks, Franklin. You helped save my sandcastle. And I believe... Yeah, we've done the Orchard minigame. Do you have the shiny heart? Yes, you have the shiny heart. I think that's the last of everything. I believe that is indeed the last of everything. So what if I was able to go to... the birthday party now? What if I did complete everything and then went to the birthday party okay we get the same messages before we still can't move we have all the characters in one place almost all oh wait no there's Mr. Badger yeah that is all the characters in the Oh, I have to say, Fax isn't there, but there's Fox right next to Franklin. Yeah, that really is all of the characters in the game. Now, what if we checked everything here? We have all the minigames. We have everything done. We picked up all the fruits. We got all the minigames. We might as well just go ahead and look at the credits. So, this game, I had fun with it. This was a rather fun game. Definitely a little longer than Postman Pat and the Greendale Rocket for GBA, which this game was also based on. You had eight levels, you had several mini games, you had an overworld. It's a small overworld, but it's still an overworld. This is a rather pleasant game for kids for the Game Boy Advance. I actually had a little bit of fun with this, believe it or not. And that was the credits. That was amazing. That was rather short, too. Um... I definitely had a little bit of fun with this. I mean, you had a few mini games that were challenging even for adults. There was the Knights one that was definitely more my speed. The or the the one where you pick the fruit in the orchard, collecting all of those tree branches in the wagon, sliding down the hill. Not e even the crabs in the sandcastle they some of them were not super easy some of them had a little bit of difficulty and I'm surprised that so many crabs were able to get past me in the sandcastle one this was not a bad game at all the graphics are pretty good they're pretty faithful to the show when you can tell who everyone is Wood woodland is or wherever, wherever the game takes place. I've already forgotten. The Franklin's world is rather bright and colorful. You can tell who everyone is. You can tell what anything is. And 
everything just looks nice and bright and wonderful and this game is pretty pleasant to look at doesn't exactly set the world on fire but it does what it does and does it well the sound of music you have a lot of acoustic music here it fits the mood of the show it fits the mood of the game you're just a kid going out and doing all sorts of kid stuff in town I mean you go to the mountains to pick flowers you look for seashells you go you go to a canoeing race there's a hide and seek game kind of captures that childhood innocence and it's actually pretty fun play control did not have much of a problem with it it was as good as it was going to be I do like that there is some puzzle solving and then it gets a little complex later on in the second half of the game. So much so that I actually had to f play around with stuff and figure out how everything works just to figure out, oh, okay, you get Franklin on this leaf and you get Bear on this switch and you press B on the switch when Bear is standing on it. And Franklin, who is on the leaf, will be elevated up to where these fruits or this other switch is. You have a little bit of complex puzzle solving. Not too complex, but complex enough. And I wouldn't say it gets super difficult, but you do have to think a little bit, just a little bit, in the second half of the game. To, to ensure that you not only complete the levels, but you also get all the fruits as well. Which is amazingly what I was able to do. So, the game plays well, but you also have a little bit of challenge too. Something that Postman Pat and the Greendale Rocket, it kind of had it in fits and spurts, but it didn't have the kind of puzzle solving the level of puzzle solving that Franklin's Great Adventures did. And once you beat this game and you find everything, I'm not sure if there would be any reason to play it again. Especially if you're like over the age of six or something. But at the same time, you will be spending a little bit of time with this game. And you may want to pop it back into your Game Boy Advance probably every once in a while just to spend some couple of hours playing through this game. Again, finding everything and just having fun as Franklin, I guess. So all in all, Despite the fact that this is a game meant for younger kids. This game was not that bad. I got surprised by the game a couple times. I'm not sure if my not doing any practice runs before the... Each of the videos that I did had anything to do with it. But maybe it didn't. But I am surprised at some of, some of the puzzles that you had to do just to get from point A to point B. It's not overly frustrating. It may be a little bit much for younger kids. At least they don't go overboard with it. They kind of kept it a little complex but not too complex you do have to think but at least you can figure it out in the end so if you see this game which you'll probably be able to find for a low price somewhere offline or online go ahead and pick this up and give this one a shot you may be surprised too. And 
that's pretty much all I have to say about this game. So this has been Let's Play Franklin's Great Adventures for the Game Boy Advance. Hopefully I'll be back with another game. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bad. Maybe it'll be somewhere in between. Who knows? Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later.